Hello students, welcome to the SketchUp 8 tutorial on building a simple puzzle. Let's open SketchUp 8. Let's go straight to a sketch. Alright, let's do an initial save. Let's go to File, Save As. In the Save In window, change it to your student number. Click the down arrow and look for your student number or look for your student number down the left hand side. Click on your student number. This file name, I'd like you to call it Puzzle. Puzzle. And then click Save. Okay, so let's uh, orient the camera so that we're looking straight down from the top. So from the top toolbar, from the camera menu, go to standard views and choose top. So now we're looking straight down at the origin and right over top of the girl. So let's zoom in. Let's use the magnifying glass. Let's use the zoom in tool and let's zoom in to a point right in front of where the girl is standing. That should be far enough. Let's click on the rectangle tool and let's create a rectangle with precise measurements. Let's start it right on the red line. Click once and start pulling outwards. Do not click a second time. I would like you to type in these dimensions. 18 centimeters, comma, 15 centimeters. 18 cm, comma, space, 15 cm. You can have a look at the dimensions window in the bottom right hand corner of my screen and then hit enter and it should set that to our exact measurements alright we're a little bit far out so let's zoom in again using the magnifying tool alright from the top toolbar let's use the offset tool the offset tool so let's click on the offset tool and I want you to position the offset tool over an edge see if I can get an edge here and it will say on edge I want you to click once and start pulling inwards ah, that didn't work let me try that again click once Let's see I'll get it on the edge click once and start pulling inwards but do not click a second time type in 1 cm and hit enter it might take you a few times to get that right it took me two times to get it right but you'll eventually get it. We want a frame around our puzzle that is one centimeter thick. So I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to edit undo. I'm going to click offset again. I'm going to position it so I get it on edge. I'm going to click once and start pulling inwards and then type one centimeters and hit enter. There we go. Okay. So this is going to be a very simple puzzle, just in, in terms of time, saving time. So it's going to have nine pieces to it. So I want you to click on the pencil tool from the top toolbar. And what I want you to do is I want you to divide this inner rectangle up into three rows, fairly even, and three columns. Again, they don't have to be exactly even. I want them approximately the same width and height. So if I start with my row, I'm going to just estimate that that's about a third of the way down. I'm going to click once on this edge, on the inner edge of the rectangle, and then draw a straight line across. Make sure it stays in red, and I'm going to click on the other side. There we go. And then I'm going to kind of think about I can use the midpoint here, and I can go draw a second line all the way across. You can look at it just just again we want to be we want to have them approximately the same height if you don't like them you can erase them with the eraser tool and you can start again i'm going to leave mine the way it is okay so now what i want to do is i want to divide the, the space into three vertical columns so i'm going to estimate that one column is going to be about that thick i'm going to click once to activate the pencil and draw a green line this time all the way down straight to the opposite edge and then I want to do the same thing I want to uh, create one more vertical line and this is what we want we want a grid pattern three columns three rows nine puzzle pieces all right let's save let's go to file save okay so this is the most exciting part of the puzzle let's create the puzzle pieces 
So for that, we're going to use the Arc tool, and we're only going to use the Arc tool. So let's click on the Arc tool from the top toolbar. So we're going to start with a very simple piece in the corners. So here's the, we're going to get a lot of practice at this skill, so I'm going to go over it for the first time here. So on any edge, either on the right edge or on the bottom edge, I'm going to do both. I want you to click somewhere near, uh, away from the corner. So you can have it just a little bit away from the corner, or you can have it a little bit farther away from the corner. Again, once we create the little kind of puzzle piece that sticks out at the end, the little knob, you'll, you can decide where to start, okay? So we're going to click once to activate the edge of the arc. And then I'm going to start pulling downwards, but I'm not going to click a second time. I'm going to type in on my keyboard 2.3 cm. And then I'm going to hit enter. Then, do not click your mouse again. I want you to start pulling the bulge or the arc towards the inside of that piece. Do not click a second time. Okay? Then I want you to type in 1.4 cm. So these are two, and then hit enter. So these are two numbers that you're going to be very familiar with. 2.3 is the width of the circle or the semicircle. And 1.4 is kind of the depth or the bulge of the a semicircle. All right. So once we've created that little knob, that little piece of the puzzle, we're going to take our eraser tool and we're going to erase this line. And then you'll see it'll start looking like a puzzle piece. See how this little knob here is attached to this piece right here. Okay, so we're going to do it for a second time. Now we're going to create another bulge on the bottom edge here. So I'm going to click on the arc tool. And again, I'm not going to start right at the corner. I'm going to come in a little bit. I'm going to click once and then start dragging my mouse to the right. But do not click a second time. I want you to type in 2.3 cm and then hit enter. Then, without clicking your mouse, start pulling upwards and you'll start seeing the arc there. And then type in 1.4 cm and then hit enter. So now we've got the next piece, the next little bulge. So I'm going to take the eraser and then I'm going to erase this piece right here. Now you'll see that this piece of the puzzle is now completed. Now I don't want to create a bulge on this side or on this side because this is the corner piece. There's not much we can do with a corner piece. Okay, so let's go to this corner piece here. Let's create, let's click on the arc tool. This time, I want the bulge to go outwards from the corner. So I'm going to see if I can maybe put it closer to this corner here, right here. And if you find that you're not getting close enough, maybe you can zoom in and maybe that will allow you to get closer to that corner. Let's see if that worked. I zoomed in and I'm going to click back on the arc tool. So I'm going to be a little bit closer to the corner here. I'm going to click once and then start moving my mouse upwards. And I'm going to type in 2.3 cm, hit enter. And then I'm going to drag my mouse to the right. And I'm going to type in 1.4 cm, enter. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create all these little knobs exactly the same size. Now I know in a puzzle they're not exactly the same. But for simplicity's sake, that way we can repeat the motion over and over. I want them to be similar. All right, let's click on the eraser tool. And let's click on this line and get rid of that so we have a nice piece like that. Okay. Now let's see what happens if we try to create uh, one of those bulges right on the corner. So for example, I'm going to start right here and let's see if that's going to work. So I'm going to click and start dragging to the right. I'm going to type in 2.3 cm, enter. And then I can either pull up or pull down. It's completely up to you. This time I'll pull down and let's see if I can type in uh, one. 0.4 cm. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I guess it works. There is a little bit of overlap here. Let's just have a look. That was what I was afraid of, is that you see if I zoom in, the actual bulge goes outside of the frame. So that, that's what I mean when I don't want you to line it up right beside the edge. So I was afraid something like that would happen, but we learned our lesson. So let me just um, erase it. I might have to erase this little piece here. I might have to zoom in again because I can't really get at it from when I'm far away. Let's click on the eraser. Let's see if I can touch this right here. Good. All right, so let me zoom out. 
Okay, so let's see if I can get as close as I can to that edge. So I'm going to go back to the arc tool, right to the corner here. See how I'm not right on the corner? All right, let's click once and let's drag across 2.4 centimeters, enter, and then pull down 1.4 centimeters, enter. There we go. So I'm not right on the edge, but see how I've got this little piece here. All right, let's click on the eraser tool. Let's get rid of that and let's zoom out. Okay, so I've created two of the corner pieces. So I'm going to leave the corners and then I want to try one skill because I want to give you some uh, opportunity to create your own kind of pieces, your own, add your own creativity to it. But I'm going to add one kind of uh, funky piece here in the corner. All right, so let's click on the arc tool again and I'm going to start here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the, uh, the arc kind of overlap this intersection between these four pieces. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to click once and then drag across. So I'm going to type in 2.4 cm and then I'm going to start pulling upwards 1.4 cm and then hit enter. All right, so I've got this arc intersecting this piece and this piece. It actually kind of joins this piece and this piece, doesn't it? So I'm going to create the same situation on the bottom here. So this is easier because I already know my endpoint. So I'm going to click once here, drag across, click a second time here. This is the first time we've clicked a second time. And I'm going to start pulling downwards. I'm going to type in 1.4 cm, hit enter. Okay, so we have an unusual situation here. Obviously, these are not four little pieces here of the puzzle. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. So let's use our eraser and let's be really careful about what we're going to get rid of. Okay, so let's get rid of this line here. Let's get rid of this line. Let's get rid of this line. Let's get rid of this line. Now again, this doesn't make a lot of sense, but if I get rid of this part of the arc here, you see now this corner piece has got this big kind of rounded piece on it. Okay. Now, right now, it, it seems very obvious that that's where that puzzle piece will go, but then you can disguise it a bit by putting some other pieces. For example, right here, create another piece. So 2.4 centimeters, enter, and then pull down 1.4 centimeters. So you see how we're repeating these measurements over and over and over again. So that creates a much more interesting piece here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press pause. What I want you to do is I want you to continue working around your nine pieces. Make them as interesting as you can. And then when you're ready, what I'll do is I'll create my nine pieces as well. And then I want you to uh, press play when we've both got those um, our puzzles ready to go. Okay, I'm going to press pause now. I want you to press pause. Before we do that, let's save. Let's go to file, save. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, students, so how did you do? So I've created all my pieces. I created another interesting little corner here. Okay, so I overlapped an arc over two separate pieces, and then I kind of erased pieces to create this nice little edge here, this corner. Okay, if you like it, then you can just pause here, and you can create something on one of your pieces. Okay, so let's save now that we have all of our pieces done. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to bring out the edges of these pieces. Right now, the line is very thin. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to go to the top pull-down menu, Window, and let's go to Styles, Window, Styles. All right, when the Styles uh, menu pops up, I want you to look for the Edit tab right here. You'll see Select, Edit, Mix. So I want you to click on Edit, and then I want you to make sure that you've clicked on edges here. It should automatically default to edges, but you see this little picture, it has kind of a skeleton. That means the edges. And then for profiles, I need you to click on profiles and I want you to change two to four. Let's make those edges really stand out. Okay, so profiles, check four, and everything else is exactly the same. All right, let's uh, close this window. Okay, so now we have to make groups. So what I want you to do is, I want you to double click on the top left hand piece, inside the piece, double click. 
So what, we'll, what that will do is it will highlight the inside as well as the edge of that puzzle, of that puzzle piece. Then I want you to right click on your mouse and choose make group. Okay. So I'm going to do that again, and then now you'll see that the lines have been created. We've got a very thick line around that piece. That's how you know it's done. So let's go to the next piece. We'll have lots of practice. Let's double click. Make sure you see how everything's highlighted, the inside as well as the exterior. Right click and choose Make Group. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Double click, right click, Make Group. So we're going to do that nine times. Okay. All right, let's deselect. Let's click outside of the puzzle. Okay, so we want to just make sure that we've erased all of the lines that we need to before we go on to our next step. All right, let's save. All right, so let's color in the pieces. So let's click on the paint can. All right, let's change it to color. So I want you to change this to color. So you can make all of the puzzle pieces different colors, random colors, whatever you want. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to create puzzle pieces uh, using colors all in the same family. So I like blue. So I'm going to choose all different shades of blue. So I'm going to click on my first color and I'm going to click on that puzzle piece. Then again, I want to use all kinds of shades of blue. I'm going to click another color. Make sure it shows here, and then I'm going to click on a different piece. And then I'll click on a different color. And what I want you to do is I want you to keep going around your puzzle, coloring in different colors. Now, again, my suggestion was to use different shades of the same color, but you do not have to follow my suggestion. You can make them all random colors if you wish. Okay? That kind of looks green, but that's okay. Uh, too similar okay we don't want we want the pieces to stand out a bit so I don't want you to choose the same color okay so I think I've got every box colored I think all right so I'm gonna get rid of the materials actually before we do that let's once we've got all of the puzzle pieces colored let's change this from colors down to wood and what we want to do is we want to color the frame around the puzzle. So you can choose any of these woods. I'm just going to choose a simple one here. How about this? And I'm going to choose, oops, sorry. Sometimes you've got to click on it twice. And there we go. There's my wood color. Maybe that one doesn't show up as well. Let's try this. Okay. Let's get rid of the materials window. Okay. All right. So I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm almost done. And for the first time, I'm going to orbit, use the orbit tool, and slightly look at it from an angle. And then I'm going to use the push-pull tool. And I want to click on the edge. And I want to click once and start pulling upwards. And I want you to type in 0.2 cm. So I just want the frame to stick out a little bit. 0.2 centimeters is 2 millimeters. Okay? So it's, very, it's a very thin edge. All right. Let's orbit around again. Let's look at it from uh, the top, directly from the top. Let's go back to camera, standard views, top. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Let's click on the move tool. Click on the move tool. Let's save it first. Let's go to file, save. All right, let's click on the move tool. Let's see if we can click on a puzzle piece and actually remove it from the puzzle board. Here we go. get all of our pieces out of the frame and there we go okay so you have two choices you can call Mr. Wade over to show him your puzzle with the pieces outside of the frame or you can build the puzzle again and then call Mr. Ueda so this kind of ends our tutorial so if you want to save it with all the pieces out that's fine or you've got it already saved with all the pieces in make sure you call Mr. Ueda over thanks for watching this tutorial
See you next time. Bye.